Baldur's Gate 3 continued to break Steam concurrent player records over the weekend, reaching 814k players around 11 hours ago, placing itself in the number 9 spot on the all-time chart. At this point, not even Hogwarts Legacy, currently number 8 on Steam's all-time big chart, is safe with its 979k record. Although concurrency records are usually broken on weekends and we're now on Monday, perhaps the game can give it a try next weekend. Despite all this success, it sounds like Larian Studios isn't looking to create another game as big as Baldur's Gate 3 as their next project, as the sentiment conveyed in a Bloomberg interview by CEO Sven Winker anyway. He said he'd rather work on smaller games next and also hinted that Larian might be finally ready to tackle multiple projects at once. If that made it helpful for a revival of Divinity of Fallen Heroes, the tone-based tactics game announced in 2019, that won't be happening. In another recent interview with Eurogamers, Sven Winker said Fallen Heroes is gone for good, which is unfortunate given the very positive hands-on preview before the game was put on indefinite hold. There's another noteworthy tidbit in the Bloomberg interview. Larian seeks to remain independent amidst the current consolidation spree of the game's industry. Some internal documents that emerged during the Microsoft vs FTC trial showed that the house of Xbox was looking at Larian, among many game developers, as a potential acquisition target. To that, Vinka said, it's always flattering. I'm getting older, but I'm certainly not done yet. The strength of this company is that I'm very invested in the gameplay, and I also make the ultimate decisions. We can do things in service of the games we make. Whatever Larian is doing after Baldur's Gate 3, it's certain to have the attention of the entire industry after a success of this magnitude. Anyway, guys, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.